Hello, my name is Ignacio Vizzo, and today I will be presenting our work on self-supervised geometric scan completion of SPAR 3D LiDAR scans. Mapping systems that turn sensor data into a model of the environment are standard components in any mobile robot. Such systems enable those robots to solve downstream tasks such as path planning, navigation, or localization. In this example, we see an autonomous car localizing a LiDAR scar into the map. Intuition is that the better the quality of the map, the better the robot can solve the task. In our work, we investigate how to use low-resolution LiDARs to create a map of the environment. Then, you may be wondering why we're interested in low-resolution LiDARs. As shown here in the picture on my left, the price for LiDAR sensor scales roughly linearly with the number of pins and thus the resolution of the scanner. The cheaper the sensor are, the easier it is to deploy robots in the real world. Therefore, we investigate whether we can build a mapping system that generates dense models but only require low-cost sensors. But the problem is that typically a low-resolution LiDAR will provide a low-resolution map. Our goal is to provide a denser map representation of the environment even when employing such, such low-resolution sensors. We achieve this goal to, through geometric scan completion without having to opt for a more expensive sensor. To do so, we revisit the traditional volumetric pipeline based on TSDF and propose a neural network to aid the 3D reconstruction. Our solution provides maps with similar characteristics as those filled with more high-end sensors, which are typically more expensive. To achieve our goal, we sequentially process each scan from a lower solution LiDAR. First, we compute the TSDF representation of the input scan. This TSDF represents the input point cloud into a truncated sign distance field. As shown here on the picture on the left, the TSDF from a lower solution LiDAR is rather sparse and will lead to in an incomplete representation of the environment when building the final map. This means that this map might have holes or incomplete reconstruction uh, results that can affect the performance of the robotics tasks that need to make use of this map. To improve the mapping results, we process the input TSDF representation and we make it dense. We pass the TSDF volume through our fully convolutional 3D CNN, obtaining a denser representation of the input scan. As a result of this step, we end up with two TSDF volumes, one directly obtained from raw sensor data and one obtained from the output of our network. Now we need to provide a way to combine these two data sources to avoid integrating the same measurement twice into the map. To achieve this, we fuse both TSDF volumes into the global map representation by employing a normalization factor called eta. The result of our approach is a dense map obtained from the combination of both TSDF volumes. We repeat this process for all incoming scans into the system. Please note that our approach does not require the robot to move slowly through the environment, as our CNN can help to deal with the sparse nature of the lower solution LiDAR. Here we show the results of our approach in an autonomous driving scenario. On the top left of the figure, we plot the resulting map after integrating 10 lower solution scans into a traditional TSDF pipeline. As seen here in the map, the, the results are rather sparse, they contain holes, and fails to reconstruct important objects such as parked cars. Therefore, it might be challenging to use this map for robotics tasks. When using our approach, shown here on the top right, we obtain a denser map of the environment, which exhibits high level of details. For example, you can spot here the car that is fully reconstructed by our approach. Note that this map was obtained by only using a lower solution LiDAR and our CNN, as explained before. We also show here a bird's eye view of both maps. 
after integrating a total of 50 scans. As seen here in the picture, on the bottom left, for a traditional TSDF pipeline, even when integrating more scans, is not sufficient to fully reconstruct the environment. Our approach can recover with more accuracy the environment that the robot is navigating. Additionally, we investigate how our system can also be helpful when using high-resolution sensors. As an example, the robot might be moving at high speed or the LiDAR can be dropping some frames, for example, to networking problems. As a result, the map obtained, even when using high-resolution sensors, can be quite sparse, as shown here on the picture on the left. In such scenarios, our approach can aid the mapping system and make it dense, showing that our system is not only helpful for using with low-resolution LiDARs, but also improves the map quality under challenging conditions such as high-speed runs or when the sensor is dropping frames. In summary, we propose a 3D mapping system using low-resolution LiDAR sensor. Our approach combines a traditional mapping system based on TSDF and a uh, and completion network that basically aids the 3D reconstruction of the TSDF system. In our work, we show how we can combine a low-resolution sensor with a completion network to obtain similar results as those obtained with high-resolution ones, or sometimes even better. You can find the paper with all the details of our work and the open source implementation by scanning the QR codes shown here in the presentation. That's it from my side, and thank you very much for your attention.